stress urinary incontinence occurs when bladder pressure is higher than urethral pressure. Postprostatectomy urinary incontinence is due to injury of urethral sphincteric mechanism. Adjustable transurator male system atoms has proved to be a safe alternative to treat different degrees of postprostatectomy urinary incontinence. Our hypothesis is that atoms restore continence by stretching urethral wall by filling the cushion. By this mean, according to Hawke law, this stretching causes an increase in the tension of the urethral walls, which according to Laplace law, produce an increase in urethral pressure. Our objectives are to verify the relationship between the intraurethral pressure and the filling volume of the cushion, and second, to analyze whether the continence status depends on this relationship. We carry out an intraoperative cross-sectional study. The inclusion criteria was to have moderate to severe postprostatectomy urinary incontinence. There was no exclusion criteria. The sample size was nine patients with a mean age of 79 years plus minus 5.5 years. We measure this pressure by an air charge catheter connected to a solar urodynamic equipment. Perioperative intraurethral pressure measurement was carried out after Atom's placement but before closing the incision so that we could be sure the measurement was performed at the level of, at which Atom's systems compresses the urethra. Initial pressure was measured with empty cushion and by 5 mm serial filling until 30 mm. Then the cushion was completely unfilled and afterwards filled again up to atmosphere pressure. The regression analysis showed a significant direct relationship between cushion volume and intraurethral pressure. It was also observed that intraurethral pressure rises scarcely and uniformly with filling under 15 milliliters, but above 20 milliliters, there is a wide variability of the increment. Cluster analysis defined two patterns. Pattern one consisting of six patients and pattern two consisting of three patients. Patient in pattern one had compliant urethra and mild to moderate incontinence on the PAD test. Patient in pattern two have stiff urethras and severe 
baseline incontinence. The six patients in cluster one, 100%, achieve continence, but only one patient in cluster, in cluster two, 33%. As conclusion, we can say that we confirm the hypothesis that atoms system leads to continence by increasing intraurethral pressure owing to the stretching effect of urethral wall caused by cushion filling. And the response to serial filling of the cushion intraoperatively depends on urethral rigidity and reflex baseline incontinence severity and precludes postoperative results.